What's going on, buddy? Welcome to today's YouTube video. A little after six, so I do probably need to keep the voice down a little bit with the rest of the house asleep. Maisie is currently getting her breakfast over there. Maisie, can you say hi? She is so food focused, it's actually insane. My breakfast is gonna be a couple eggs and some sourdough bread. So today, basically, I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating, but this is what I would consider more of like a streamlined full day of eating, something I've been eating for a long time. Obviously, I'll throw in things now and again when Katie's in town or making a recipe or uh, any sort of other meal prep, but for the most part, like this is what I really enjoy personally and would probably eat pretty much every single day if it wasn't for the fact that once again, like food is a very social part of our lives. We kind of want to enjoy other meals with other people. So we got some sourdough bread right here. I'm gonna throw the toaster, we got our eggs over there. Um, we're gonna do a sumo orange. So I'll do some sort of um, vegetable or fruit in the morning, but these sumo oranges, they're going out of season. So we got a bunch of these at the store the other day and they are fantastic. If you've never had these, they look like these old wrinkly like decrepit oranges, but they are the single best oranges I've ever had. Highly recommend. They are a little bit of expensive, uh, unfortunately, but they are, in my opinion, worth the price. And we're gonna have four eggs over here. So I'm gonna whip this up. It's a very basic meal. You're gonna cook the eggs however you want. I personally go over easy. Uh, if you wanna go over medium, hard, scrambled, poached, whatever it is, make some eggs. We're gonna have some toast and sourdough and then a piece of fruit right here. But yeah, as I mentioned, you guys will see throughout the day, I already have some stuff meal prep for later in the day, but this is be the most streamlined, efficient, and enjoyable way that I personally like to eat. So maybe you can get some ideas about meals or maybe protein sources, carbs, stuff like that. But we're gonna be aiming for about 3000 calories today and 200 grams of protein, which is quite a bit, but it's four big meals. So if you maybe are closer to the 22 or like the 2000 mark or even under, there are other videos on my channel you can check out. Or I would say, honestly, maybe just eliminate one of my meals or just make them in smaller portions. But without further ado, I'm gonna whip up breakfast. I'll show you guys what we got. Puppy, good morning. Good morning, how are you? How are you, good morning. And here we have our breakfast. We have our two pieces of sourdough as well as our four eggs on there. Steam is actually still coming off since I just pulled the eggs off. But yeah, basically, um, this is a meal I've kind of, I would say changes a little bit for me as far as what breakfast is. I don't know if you guys have seen the channel for a while, but I used to always have egg beaters, which are basically egg whites with a little bit of feta cheese and russet potatoes. But for me, I really like potatoes, which once again, I have those actually later in the day. But I just realized in the morning, it's gonna take me probably about 25 minutes to make those potatoes. So I'm gonna have to wash them, I'm gonna cut them, I'm gonna put them in the air fryer, and then they're gonna air fry for 16, 17 minutes. Versus this, the toast, maybe toast for what, four minutes? The eggs cook in maybe four or five? Like, it, it's a lot faster and efficient in my opinion. So I've kind of developed basically, okay, I, I still have eggs, my carb source has changed, I'm not having any cheese, I'm having a piece of fruit on the side. So, for me, this is a very streamlined breakfast. So I'm in a huge hurry, I'll do a protein shake and a piece of fruit. If um, I'm maybe traveling, I'll do a Greek yogurts and some fruit, something like that. When I'm home, I can whip up some eggs. This is what I'm going with. So this is meal number one. Macros for this meal, let's see here, come out to be, and I will say, although superfoods is kind of like a, a cliche word and not really that true, eggs are probably up there with some of the absolute best foods. Like I literally have a nutrition chart and eggs are at the top of so many categories and probably one, number one healthiest food overall in terms of our, um, I don't wanna say healthy, I mean it has a abundance of micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, all that kind of stuff. So whole eggs, having a couple a day is gonna be very, very beneficial for our overall health as well. But this meal right here comes out to be 590 calories. That's also including seven grams of butter that we actually cook the eggs in. So 590 calories, 60 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fat, and 33 grams of protein. So decent start to the day. Not the highest protein ratio. Occasionally what I'll do is I'll have one piece of toast and two eggs, and then maybe a Greek yogurt or a protein bar on the side, but I'll have plenty of uh, protein throughout the rest of the day, so I'm not too worried that this isn't necessarily the highest ratio of calories to protein. But yeah, this is meal number one, and I'm gonna dig in. I'll see you guys in the next meal. Time has come for meal number two. We're going with our proats. Another thing about my streamlined nutrition approach is my body kind of tells me when it's time to eat, which is kind of cool, because I pretty much eat the same thing at the same time most days, and I was just working on my computer, not really paying attention to the clock, and I was like, I'm kind of hungry. What time is it? I was like, oh shoot, it's like 11 o'clock. This is normally when I have my pre-workout meal. So I head to the gym around noon, stuff like that. So that's another cool thing. Your body kind of starts to learn like when you want to eat and kind of gives you hunger cues that are kind of um, connected to your eating style if you eat consistently at the same time every day. So one thing I've never done with this, so I take these packets of quick oats. These are 
the maple brown sugar, less sugar from Kroger. I take two packets, I dump them into a bowl, and I use one of the packets to fill up with water. But I've had people ask like, okay, how much oats actually is it? Like how much uh, water do you actually pour in? Because I don't know, I just kind of like go based on these. I know everyone doesn't have access to these, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can read this. Okay, so each packet is 34 grams. So I'm actually gonna measure that out to confirm that, but yeah, one packet, 34 grams, so two packets is 68 grams. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead, I don't know what's on my hand, um, take our packets, open those up, and dump these in. I've zeroed out my food scale, dump those in, and yeah. You guys can't see it, but I can promise you it says exactly 68 grams on the dot, not one gram above or below. So good job on Kroger for that. Now what we're gonna do, so typically for one pack, it says to use th uh, two thirds of a cup, but I use this whole packet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill the whole packet up with water and then dump it into a cup, measuring cup, and see how much it actually is. So that's one full cup. I'm also gonna zero the scale and give you guys the milliliters uh, of water. So, okay, so we got one full pack right here. We're gonna pour it into a cup, act like we're pouring it into the bowl. It is almost a cup exactly, if not maybe like, literally like a micrometer away from being a full cup. And then when I pour the cup into the oats, it ends up being 206 milliliters. So forever doesn't have access to the exact um, kind of like I guess packaging and oats I use. If you wanna replicate these oats, it is 68 grams of quick oats and then one cup or about 206 milliliters of water. Give that a quick stir with a clean finger, and this will go in the microwave for three minutes. And now once we got our oats cooked, this is where it does come down to a little bit of preference as well as what kind of protein powder you're gonna use. So I always use Transparent Labs. This is the milk chocolate flavor. It is 28 grams of protein per serving, which is a little bit higher um, because it's an isolate, which is gonna be a higher end protein, as well as a little bit cleaner, so it doesn't give me as much digestion issues as some other products that might have a little bit more sugar that might be a concentrate rather than an isolate. Um, so that's preference-based and also what kind of milk you use. So I'm gonna be using some almond milk, almond breeze. That's actually really heavy. That's a full gallon right there. Um, and this comes down to preference as far as, okay, like literally a full gallon. Um, how, I guess like, porridgey or like how thick or runny do you want your oats to be? Do you want to use one scoop of protein? Do you want to use half a scoop, one, um, one and a half scoop, stuff like that? I personally go with a splash of milk to start. So once again, this is kind of just me eyeballing it. I know I'm going to need more milk than that probably, but a splash of milk because they always add more milk. You can't take milk out once you pour it in the bowl. Then we're going with a scoop of protein. I will say I would not eat oats without the scoop of protein either. Um, as much as I love this meal, I love it the way it is, not any other version. Like I wouldn't eat plain oats, I think ever in my life. Like I have to have um, the protein powder to make it taste better. Plus a little bit of peanut butter always helps too. So we're gonna mix that in. I'm gonna put this together. So I'm gonna mix this, maybe add a little bit more almond milk to make sure I get the consistency that I like. A little bit of peanut butter, chop up a banana, and then I'll show you guys the final product and realize the macros, but this gets boring. So we have our final meal right here. Once again, our oats with our banana. And then also I will have one Rice Krispie treat on my way to the gym. I'll show you guys that later, but I'm gonna include it in this macros because it's kind of all my entire pre-workout meal. I just happen to eat the Rice Krispie treat as I go to the gym. That's just unique to me. But we have uh, 672 calories with 97 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 41 grams of protein. This is gonna be once again our pre-workout meal, pre-workout meal higher in carbs, also we have Maisie here because she's gonna be waiting for some peanut butter. So we're gonna give her a little bit of that. But yeah, as far as once again, streamlining things, like I didn't just stumble upon this kind of full day of eating. This wasn't given to me by someone. I didn't find it on the internet. This was through experimentation. I found out, okay, hey, I really like this in my pre-workout meal. So I'm gonna have that as a staple. In the morning, once again, I do like having eggs. I think it's a great um, source of once again, protein, healthy fats, micronutrients. Okay, what carb do I wanna pair with eggs? Dinner and lunch are the same thing where it's, or I guess post-workout meal and dinner are the same thing where I wasn't really like told and didn't really find this. It was kind of like, okay, I need a protein source. Okay, what protein source do I enjoy? Okay, what can I pair with those? And it was kind of like more like building a meal plan. Actually, that gives me an idea. I might do like a make your perfect meal plan or how to make a perfect meal plan. That might actually be a good video. I might have to break up the whiteboard for that one. So I might actually make those soon. But once again, it's gonna come from experimentation, figure out what you like and then allow it to change too. Like once again, I don't plan to change this. Unless my taste buds change, I will have this as my pre-workout meal every single day, hopefully for the rest of my life. But if my taste buds change in terms of my dinner options or lunch or whatever it is, like you can change these things, but having good staples 
in your diet and making things streamlined and consistent is huge for once again, long-term adherence as well as success on a diet rather than trying to balance and juggle a million different variables, having a million different meals, a million different protein sources and carbs and fats every single day. It becomes a lot of work. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give Maisie a little peanut butter. So we got this here, not too much because we don't want to get her fat, right? All right, I'll show you guys. Stay, peanut butter. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so funny. Oh yeah, get it all. Did you get it all? <laughs> Good girl. Good peanut butter. One other thing I always forget to do on these full days of eating, because I do want to show you guys what supplements I take, is to actually show you guys in the morning, because I pretty much take these as soon as I wake up. I always forget to do them because of my cameras downstairs. But um, currently, we use this little guy right here as like, I don't know, pill organizer to take our supplements. So we got a multivitamin. So that is supplement number one, multivitamin daily. We have our krill oil right there. So since I don't have a ton of fish in my diet, um, I tend to supplement with a fill oil, uh, sorry, krill oil for omega-3s. We have a vitamin D supplement right now, which I actually threw in, basically just due to the fact that I'm not really getting a lot of sunlight at the moment. Well, hopefully getting a little bit more as winter time rinds down, but I take that during the winter time. We have a generic allergy med right there. And then the last thing we have is our KSM 66. So I'm taking that as well. Um, and then I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, also one other thing. So Barbell, my apparel sponsor right here, um, they actually have a sale going on. And it's funny enough because I could pull these out because I need to send those back. So in addition to their lifetime guarantee and their satisfaction guarantee, they also have an exchange program where if you um, maybe put on a little bit of weight like myself, um, about 30 pounds swing from prep, or if you lose weight, you can go ahead and exchange your pair of jeans or I actually have this pair of um, their anything pants as well, which I wear for uh, golf and dinners and it's a little bit more formal. So I need to exchange both of those because your boy put on a little bit of weight over the last several months and I got both of those during prep when I was like 150 pounds and now I'm closer to 180. And yeah, my waist has changed along with me adding weight. So I need to exchange those, which is super nice. That they allow that. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to buy a new pair of jeans. I would just say, hey, like I am no longer a 30, excuse me, hopefully you're saying no longer a 36 you went down to 34 in my case i'm no longer a 30 i'm actually a 32 so it just depends on your situation but it is super nice because it allows you to actually exchange those and they have a discount going on once again 99 dollars for all their pants are on sale so if you want to check those out link in the description but yeah i wanted to show you guys those supplements and then we'll go ahead and i'll show you my other supplements which once again are basically my pre-workout supplements which is just a little bit of caffeine so i'll show you that that we're gonna make before we head to the gym and we're also gonna get a rice crisp treat out because as I mentioned I do have a Rice Krispie treat with me when I head to the gym so we're gonna grab that Rice Krispie treat real quick there we go so we got that guy right there Rice Krispie treat and then also we're gonna pair that with a scoop of bulk which is basically just their pre-workout right here boom so we have the bulk right there. So that is gonna be the pre-workout stack. I'm not gonna to film today since today's a full day of eating. I actually just filmed a vlog in the gym yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out our workout. I'll see you guys at the post-workout meal. Just made it back from the gym and we are whipping together our post-workout meal. We've got 350 grams of potatoes in the air fryer, a little bit of olive oil spray, salt and pepper, very simple. Those are in the air fryer, 400 degrees for about 15 to 16 minutes, depending on how crispy you want yours. I like mine very crispy. Then we've got um, some fruits and veggies over here. So we do two small apples. These are very small. I mean, you can see in the size of my hands, so we're gonna do two of those. I'm gonna consider that like one whole apple. We've got 150 grams of carrots, so a serving of veggies. And then the two things, obviously, once again, big part is our chicken. So this is already prepped. I cooked up two pounds earlier in the week and I'm gonna eat this. This is kind of like all my own chicken. Obviously, once again, if I'm sharing with other people, that'd be a little bit different. Um, I can shake that once I'm done. But yeah, so we got our two pounds of chicken cooked up. So I'm gonna basically go ahead and portion this out among four meals. And for me, that was 10 chicken tenderloins. So 10 divided by four is two and a half. So basically I need two and a half tenderloins. It's gonna be about eight ounces of chicken. So once again, if it's not perfect, if one day is 7.95 uh, and one day is 8.05 ounces of chicken, not a big deal. And then we got a little bit of our sauce on top. So this actually, the salsa con, con yeah. 
Salsa con queso was for a recipe in the cookbook, but I just didn't really know what to do with it because um, I just like don't really eat that by like the chip or anything like that. I was like, you know what? I want to add a little bit of um, some sauce or something to my chicken and potatoes. They've been getting a little bit bland. So I'm going to take two servings of this guy and throw it on top. Um, I am going to heat this up because it's refrigerated. So once I eat the carrots, which I'll munch on pretty much as the potatoes cook, so these are probably gone, I'll throw my chicken and queso on the plate, microwave that for a split second, and then add it to the potatoes, and that's going to be the meal. But I'm going to put everything together. I'm going to put you guys up on the tripod, and I'll read off the macros and show you guys the final meal. And here we have our final product. So we got our potatoes covering the chicken and the salsa con queso. So it is under there, our chicken and our two servings of our queso. And we have our two apples on the side. I already ate the carrots, 150 grams of those. I will say, um, in general, I don't recommend adding a ton of what we'll kind of call like uh, extra processed foods, but I mean, 90 calories of this to make this, I think 700 calorie meal tastes 100 times better. It is worth it every day of the week, in my opinion. Plus, we are carrots, our apple, and what, 90 calories out of 3,000 is, I don't even know, like maybe like 3%. I'm actually kind of curious now, so we're gonna do the math real quick. So 90 divided by 3,000, literally 3%, 0.03% of my entire calories. I'm not too worried about it if it's uh, coming from some fake cheese by um, Kroger itself. But we got this meal, 900, oh, not 900, 790 calories, 123 grams of carbs, only eight grams of fat, and then 63 grams of protein. So a big chunk of protein. And like I said, I normally eat this meal without this salsa con queso, but I was like, I need to use this up in some way. I threw it on there, I think probably a week ago or so. I was like, you know what, that tastes absolutely amazing. It makes the meal so much more enjoyable for literally 90 calories. And I was like, that's a no brainer in my opinion. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add that. I don't know if I'll keep it in there. Um, I might add like Chick-fil-A sauce or something, but right now the salsa con queso is a great addition and I love it. So we're gonna keep digging in. I do need a knife to cut up the chicken though, but I'll grab that. Um, yeah, macros, calories. Yeah, now my goal is to finish up my check-in so I can take Maisie on a W-A-L-K because it's nice out, the sun's out. It's Valentine's Day, unfortunately can't spend it with Katie, but I can spend it with Maisie. So we're gonna go on a nice long W-A-L-K after I eat this and finish up my client check-ins, I'll see you guys at the fourth and final meal of the day. And here we are with our fourth and final meal of the day. We've got a big bowl of pasta with some meat sauce, probably the single easiest meal to meal prep that I absolutely love it is simply a box of pasta. You're gonna cook up two pounds of ground beef, have a jar of whatever red sauce or um, marinara sauce of your preference, three ingredients, and basically just cook the pasta, cook the ground beef, Mix it all up and separate into four or five meals, depending on how many calories you want. We're also gonna be adding some carrots on the side because carrots are a super easy source of vegetables for me right now. I get pretty lazy with my vegetables. And then we got a Robert Irvine Fit Crunch Bar. Basically, I mean, hopefully I shouldn't see that. This is the peanut butter chocolate flavor. This is pretty much a candy bar to me. That is my sweet treat at the end of the day to kind of, uh, once again, curb my sweet tooth. And also just in general, I really like it. I don't need the protein from it, but I don't mind that's a slightly higher protein, lower calorie version of what a candy bar tastes like, um, in my opinion. So this meal right here, everything you see is 978 calories, 114 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 80 grams of protein. Like I said, this is very easily changed in terms of the calories. You could reduce the amount of pasta. So I use one whole box for four meals. You could do half a box. You could split this up amongst three, well, I actually do four, so you can split up like amongst five or six meals to reduce the calories as well as once again, if you don't need, um, like I think the pasta just in and of itself and the ground beef is like 60 grams of protein. So if you only want like 40, you can basically cut this in half and distribute the meals over multiple days. But this is gonna be the final meal. So we got a little bit more veg. I think that's gonna be my second serving of vegetables. I have three servings of fruit between the orange, the banana, and the apple. So we're good on multi, uh, well, micronutrients, the multivitamins that they contain, the fiber, all that good stuff. And then we have our protein bar for a sweet treat. So I'd say they're kind of like the, um, oh, that's amazing. Uh, the kind of the second sweet treat, I guess, of the day. So we had some peanut butter and the oats. We had the uh, salsa cone queso. But let me make it amazing real quick. And then the uh, fit crunch bar for dinner. Now that Maisie's inside, which we did get our W-A-L-K in because the weather was nice. Still a little 
still a little cold, but uh, turned out just fine with a jacket on. And this brings my daily total calories to 3,030 at 394 grams of carbs, 69 grams of fat, and then 217 grams of protein. Way more protein than I need, but I will say I just typically have a higher, higher protein diet. Um, why I wasn't worried about having like the eggs in the morning and having a slightly lower protein balance because eight ounces of chicken breast, a scoop of protein, um, eight ounces of lean ground beef. This is 90, um, 97.3, I think. And they might also sell 96.4 plus a protein bar. And then my protein, um, I don't really have to worry about it on a bulk. Um, when I do cut, I definitely track my protein a bit closer, but that's a full day of eating. Hopefully you guys got some ideas. I highly recommend this. If you are struggling with meal prep ideas, pasta, ground beef, and a little bit of red sauce, split up into whatever calories you need and just store in the fridge and take it with you to work. But without further ado, I'll end things here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any questions down below as well. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.